hello friends welcome to this video so in this video we'll talk about another react.js library this time it is used to display xml files so xml viewer and editor and if you want to display xml files inside react.js this will be a perfect library for you so we have this uh, choose file button so here the user will select their xml file and as soon as you select that xml file you will see it will show the actual content of the xml file with syntax highlighting and you can clearly see the data right here and if this is a perfect small little library and if you want to if you're working with xml files if you want to read and display xml files in browser using react.js this library will be a perfect one let me show you the name of the library and if you go to npmjs.com and just search for this package react xml dash viewer this is actually the name of the package the very first package which comes right here this is the one so it has got almost 23,000 weekly downloads so i will show you a very simple example on how to use in this this is a command you need to install this so i've already installed this so I just type npmi react xml view and also we are using bootstrap as well so these three packages you need to install bootstrap and react bootstrap we are using this also i have already installed all three packages so i will start the development server and i will start from scratch so just make a simple app level component functional component and for this we need to import the bootstrap i will just include that bootstrap is not necessary for this tutorial so i but just for styling purposes so you to imported these three container form alert from react bootstrap and also included the css file and now for this application we need to basically declare two state variables first to keep track of which xml file the user has selected so for that we have this xml content variable and for this we will be using the use state hook which will be imported the initial value will be nothing and the second variable will be for keep track of the any error which happens again the initial value of this will be nothing and now in the jsx we will actually be using a simple container that we will wrap everything using the container class of bootstrap and we will just be giving a class inside this we will have a simple heading in the center position and we will simply say uh, react xml viewer and then we will have a simple form uh, using this form group inside this we will have the form label we simply say that uh, upload an xml file so then we have a simple input field where we accept the user input so type is equal to file and we will only be accepting the dot xml files and basically attach a on change event handler so when you actually upload a xml file this function will get executed so we just need to define this function handle file e parameter will automatically be passed this event parameter so in, inside this function we will basically get access to the file the user select by using e.target.files and then we will have two conditions just to check if the file is uploaded so if the file is not uploaded we will set these error messages no file selected and please upload a valid xml file so if the file is not an xml file in either of these cases we will not execute the code so if the file is correct then we will set the error to nothing and then you read the xml whatever file submit by first of all the file reader api which is built in in every browser you will use this and it actually contains a function you will read this file 
as read as text and then we have this method it's a very basic method in order to read a file we have this on load function so then we'll simply set the XML content to be the actual event or target dot result and then if any sort of error take place this error callback will happen on error so you set the error error reading the file so that's all that we need to do and now to display that XML file just after the form group we will display the XML file using that function using the module so we simply say if the XML content is available then in that case display we will display it in this div we will give it a class name or bootstrap uh, margin top 4 some spacing from the top and you have the h5 tag xml content and then we will display the xml viewer which will be coming from react xml viewer so you see that this is the actual package and this all only takes a simple attribute which is the actual xml that you want to display and it is available inside the xml content variable that's all so if you just refresh your application just go to the local host and it's a very basic module and just select and it will display it the XML you can see but the module works really well and if you are working with XML files it's a great module to display your XML files in browser using react so thank you very much for watching this video and do please hit that like button subscribe the channel and do check out my website as well freemediatools.com which contains thousands of free tools regarding audio video and image and i will be seeing you in next video